Hi, good to YouTube. I'm Max, and today I want to open an English first edition Cyberstorm Access booster box. I picked this up yesterday at my local store, so um, yeah, I decided to not open it there, even though there were some friends uh, who would have liked to see it being opened. Uh, they had some packs too, and uh, they pulled nicely, so I hope I can keep up with that and um, have a nice box. I don't know too much about the set, um, but uh, there is some bestial support in here and uh, some other cards. I have them uh, yeah, kind of uh, on my laptop to my left, so um, if I pull something of higher rarity I'm most likely going to peek over there to see if it is a decent pull. And um, Okay, Constella Teller Knights. That's an old old deck, um, I think, or an old-ish deck, <laughs> and Puri Lai Lai. Um, I played uh, against the Puri Lai deck at the, at the local, um, and yes, <laughs> it was kind of weird, but um, yeah. New decks pop up uh, with every new set, so um, you have to always try to keep up with uh, what's what's the newest shit around the block, uh, you could say. And um, yeah, I was kind of confused, but overall, um, most decks that end on one or two um, yeah, big monsters uh, can fall prey to Kaijus and Lava Golems, and I tend to play both. So, um, oh, Ice Jade, Run, Aegirine? Um, that doesn't seem to be any of the the nicer cards, yay. Uh, Sword Soul Punishment, oh, that's like Sword Soul and Dogmatica Punishment uh, stuff. Hmm, interesting. But, yeah, um, Kaijus, good cards, Lava Golem, good card, and uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad for uh, not having updated my deck quite, uh, quite for a while. Uh, sign at Rollback. Yeah, of course I uh, didn't top or anything, but I had one uh, a free win because we were in an odd number of players, 35 I think, in first round um, I was the one who did not get an opponent, but after that I won two rounds and lost two rounds with Dragon. Okay, interesting. Um, you can tribute. Oh, tokens. Ah, there's there's another dragon in here that can uh, summon itself and be treated as a tuner when there's a non-effect monster on the field. So, um, using him for tokens who are non-effect monsters for him, I think. Um, then you can summon the other one and do link shenanigans, but of course only dragons, as the wish dragon uh, locks you into dragons. And more Suship stuff, nice. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> Uh, Teller Knight Constella Caduceus. Um, okay. Uh, is that anything? No. No. Nothing. <laughs> so, two kind of meh ultras so far. If I get one nice secret and one of the decent ultra rares, I'm already happy. And of course, getting some. Uh, there are two super rares in here who are worth something. One is that um, super heavy samurai prodigy Makaushi, and the other one is that. Um, what is it called? The one that uh, locks you out of hand, hand effects, but you can draw two for each draw phase and uh, have two normal summons per turn. Talanite Altarian. Altairan. Not Altarian. Uh, trap tracks. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Similar to uh, trap trick, but a little different. <laughs> Pig iron versus pen pack. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, but from 
time to time I open newer stuff um, just to keep up and have a little stock of yeah commons and cards for oh guiding quem I think this is one of the best uh, secret dress in here so that's played in uh, Despia I think and it's like ooh, okay 25 euro nice at least according to card market that's good um, that's 50% of, of what I asked for now I just need one of the decent ultra rares and everything else is bonus for me there's a quem Manadium Fearless okay Amazement Abomination Arlequino didn't they uh, I think I thought I saw this card a while ago but uh, it can't be because it's just it's just new but maybe some other artworks of the art type are similar protect code talker nice oh a new spirit support that's nice as well and there we are first pack uh, last pack of the first half so pack number 12 double hooking how did die get here <laughs> okay oh, that poor guy he's uh, he's having an adventure since legacy of darkness I, th I think where his uh, original came out super we samurai brave masuravo is that any good um, no, I don't think so, but let's put him aside. Super Heavy Samurai is again. They got lots of support in here, as it seems. Fotis. That's, uh, that looks like a Bakura card, like that um, Diabound Kernel, a little bit. I will have to read this later. To see if it's it's suited uh, for trolley builds, <laughs> because as you might know, I love trolley builds. Double hooking and reincarnation of the the seventh emperors. Hmm. So far, none of the two good super rares. Yeah. In my opinion, Darkwing Blast was a great set because you had uh, much value in the super rare slots with uh, the three different buy steals. Sign it rollback again. Yeah, I didn't want to see that twice. I'd rather have the uh, whatever it's called, that spell card, that other one. I'd rather have that twice. Teller Knight Altairan. Once again, another duplicate. I don't want. Give me that super heavy samurai. Dingstar Dongstar. <laughs> oh, Constella Teller Knights. Again. <laughs> One good pull so far. And this is Manadium Ryum Heart. Um, let's see. Okay, that's kind of decent. Around uh, 6 euro. But uh, most of these will drop. Most likely. Because the set is new uh, and now people will open it quite a lot. And they will list quite a lot of cards and um, most of them will drop in price, and some that uh, will uh, will be considered very good. They might might hold their value as for as Night Chaser, but yeah, there are just a few packs left. Let's put them out of the box right now.
Ah, Time Tearing Morganite. There we go. That's uh, the one that I want. Because if you play stun, uh, you don't need hand effects. So this card is very, very good in that kind of deck. At least I think so. Of course, I had no opportunity yet to test that. Because uh, that's my first copy of the Morganite that I own. Oh, Chaos Angel. Wait, wait. Oh, that's uh, the best secret in here. Nice. So um, I didn't just get one, I got two. Nice. Even though I don't like synchros, um, I like cards that I can sell for some decent money to uh, yeah get some of the cash back that I spent to buy the, uh, the box. And uh, with this kind of pull, um, I might break even. Oh, and another Morganite. Cool. Now it's ramping up in terms of uh, good stuff. Cool. Two packs left. Uh, what more can I even ask for? Ah, that uh, super rare, super heavy samurai. I'd like to see that that one. Ah, the bestial Aluba. Um, let's put this aside as well, because it might be good. And this is pack number twenty-four, aka the last one. And <laughs> oh no, it's wannabe. Um, okay, um, the German translation for this. I saw that yesterday. It's uh, kind of weird, but uh, it's called Möchte Biene. <laughs> and um, yeah, translating puns is not something you should do, in my opinion. Um, you should try to to find uh, a pun that yeah is similar but uh, works in the language uh, it's translated into so um, yeah but whatever um, for a recap noteworthy pulls are two time tearing morganites one chaos angel one manadium rhymehart and a gu uh, guiding quem the virtuous so virtuous whatever guiding quem the virtuous Blah. um so i'm very happy with this box um even though uh, it was kind of expensive for a new set. Um, I think I got uh, decent pulls that cover up the cost I, uh, that I had. And as always, thank you for watching. See you next time on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh! And bye-bye!